a little over a month away now, but one scout in that Orioles organization, he's going to find it absolutely impossible to top what he did for his mom earlier this spring. Ryan Powell's baseball playing days, they didn't end the way he wanted them to. So what did he do? He rewrote the ending. Not for him, but for his ailing mother. David Lloyd has the story. It's been three years since Ryan Powell retired as a player. But to understand how he found himself back in uniform and playing in an Orioles minor league interest squad game, one must first know how deeply baseball is stitched into the fabric of the Powell family. His first toy was a baseball bat. He was always into baseball. It's been a constant part of our lives. It's really at our core. Uh, when, I, when I think of my family, I think of strength. I think of um, you know, everything that we've been through together. He's went through the process. He's went independent baseball. I mean, he's, you know, he's uh, low pay, slept in cars, you know, whatever it is to, to go out and, and uh, search for the dream. In 2009, Ryan was a catcher in the independent pro leagues when he had Tommy John surgery. Then, two years later, he tore both his labrum and rotator cuff. In 2013, he secured a tryout with the Orioles. But after letting him go, Baltimore hired Ryan as the head of their independent league scouting. His playing career reinforced a life lesson. We can't give up. Uh, there's nine innings and there's 27 outs. And in some ways, you can relate that to the battles we're going through now. Last June, Ryan was back home visiting his family when things took a devastating turn. We were sitting there at uh, having lunch. And I looked up at my mom. And her, the right side of her mouth started drooping. I said, Mom, are you OK? She couldn't really respond. And we rushed her to the hospital where they said, um, they, they thought it was a, they, you know, they thought it was a mini stroke. But I felt that there was something they weren't telling us. The next morning, they sat us down and said, your mom has a brain tumor. Soon after, Wendy Powell had surgery. The tumor was removed, but the cancer was malignant. A cancer diagnosis. It's like, a, it's like a bomb that keeps going off in the family. Yeah. What impact have you seen it have on Ryan? Uh, he's having trouble. It's real problematic um, because he, he's an emotional kid. But it's, uh, it's tough. There's no question about it. While Wendy was going through chemo and radiation, she voiced a wish to Ryan, a wish to see him play baseball one more time. So in February, Ryan put on the gear and caught a bullpen session. The simple video intended for his family and friends exploded on Facebook. He said, if you coming come to see us, we want to bring the field to you. The story made its way back to his employer, the Orioles, who gave the go ahead, allowing Ryan to play in front of his mom one final time. One day he came home and he said, Mom, you want to see me play again? And I'm going to go out with the Orioles. And I said, what? And she had the biggest smile on her face. To be able to give my mother that again is a, is a moment I'll never forget. On March 29th, Ryan Powell stepped back on the diamond in front of family and friends as a gift to his mom. He had one at bat. And when I got up to got up to bat, as I was walking up to the plate, I looked over at my mom. Powell! And I just took in that moment. And I'll never forget it. And that big smile, and I, you know, I got in the box. And of course, I stood up. At the uh, fence, I couldn't sit down. I saw a pitch that I liked, and I hit it hard. And uh, oh. as I was running first, oh. All right, you know, as I looked down, yeah. I knew that it was going to be my last, at, my last time on first base. And it just, it, it was just the most special moment. And not many people get the opportunity to do that. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you did good, honey. 
I love you. <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> We're gonna get through this. Fantastic stuff from David Lloyd, and uh, we are very pleased to welcome in Ryan Powell here on Sports Center with us. Uh, first thing I got to ask you, Ryan, how, how's how's mom doing? Mom's doing good. She's doing fantastic. She's got a big smile on her face. Uh, happy to uh, let everybody know that she's resumed her treatments. And today at physical therapy, she actually took her first steps with her cane. Wow. So she's all smiles and uh, couldn't be happier. My gosh, that's incredible stuff. And I, I got to imagine that, that what you did and, and seeing you on Sports Center, I mean, that's got to lift her spirits as well. Tell us why she is just such an amazing inspiration for you. Uh, it, it's been it, it's been our, our whole lives. We've stood together. Um, we're family. You know, we, we really want to define the word family and, and be an inspiration to families that are going through these battles. We understand we're not the only ones that go through this. And uh, it, it, it's very sad. Uh, but we... You know, we stand together and uh, we, we want to do whatever we can to help people out. How in the world were you able to stay in there in that batter's box? You know your mom is right there. She stands up to watch. How are you able to, to pay attention, stay zoned in, keep your eye on the ball, so to speak? Well, as, hey, as, as she gave me all the strength in the world, um, through my life, it's my, my turn to make sure I give her that same strength. So uh, I, I, knew, I, I knew when she stood up, uh, it was a very emotional moment. And uh, I, I knew I had to have that same strength that she's in, instilled in me to give her that same exact strength back. Certainly came through there. We're seeing the, the swing time after time. Perfect swing, made Thank great you. contact with the ball. Uh, tell us the story of the bats that were used in that game. Actually, you know, when I found out when the Orioles decided that they were going to let, let me do this for my mother and my family, I, I knew there would have to be something, there's something bigger. There had to be something, something bigger that we can do here. And I decided to team up with Victus, the bat company, um, a very good bat company in Major League Baseball. And they made 15 bats, uh, Major League caliber wood. And we decided that I would use all the bats that day, whether it was in batting practice or in the game, and uh, have, have me sign them along with the 25-man roster of the Baltimore Orioles and send them off to 14 different charities all over the country and one for my mom. Mm. Wow. So uh, it's... Uh, so she's got it already? Got it the was, bat? It was a, I'm sorry? Does she have the bat now? Yeah, actually, I actually brought it today just, uh, wow. just to show you that uh, the entire Baltimore Orioles organization... Uh, sign the bats. It was a very special moment with the organization. Um, I actually had a chance to speak with all 25 of the players, and it was a very touching, touching time. Um, something really stood out. When I was talking to the entire team, uh, I asked, he, he, I asked if, if you've been touched by cancer in your family or somebody that you care about, raise your hand. And it was a very powerful moment when each and every hand in the entire clubhouse raised. Mm. And um, what better to bring families together in biggest battles than to use the, the national pastime, baseball. I'm sure you, your mom, your whole family, uh, inspirations to them uh, as they get opening day underway right now in Baltimore. Uh, one more question for you. Yeah. What in the world are you going to get your mom for Mother's Day after this? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, mean, I, haven't gone, I haven't gone that far, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we're, we're hopefully going to have, have her walking by then. That, that's going to be that, that's going to be something very special for us, and um, she's going to get some. She's going to get a lot of roses. She's Boy. definitely going to get a lot of roses. Well, send her one from us as well. Hey, we, better yet, we'll just send it from here, from Bristol, if we can get it out of the snow here oh, in the Northeast. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Powell joining us from down in in sunny Florida, scout for the Orioles, and uh, fantastic story playing one last game. For mom, Ryan Powell, send your mom all the best, and thank you for joining us here on SportsCenter. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Chris. I appreciate it. Thank you.